Hello guys, this is Joyce and I am here with a, I'm going to keep calling mine the random hauls because they are so random. And I have a little something from Tuesday morning. I have a little something from Michael's and I have a little, few little random items from Hobby Lobby. So let's get started. A week or so ago I was in Tuesday morning and I came across these really pretty embellishments from um, Bo Bunny. Okay, let's go back down. From Bo Bunny and the uh, collection is called Clementine. What is it? What, what is something? Oh, Sweet Clementine. And I saw this and I thought, oh, that's so pretty. But I couldn't find the paper at that time. But I got the chipboard pieces and there are 43 pieces. Uh, it was 319. And the number on that was 2209823. I really liked it, so I bought those and I found some other ones. And I thought, okay, I'll have these. I can just use red and pink paper with them. So I got the ephemera pack and there are 58 pieces there and there's lots of butterflies and red and pretty and black and tags and hearts all kinds of things it's not really valentine paper but it could be used for that i'm gonna think of something different so i got that one and then i got these layered chipboard pieces they were $1.99 now, i don't know if you can see that number or not and there were nine pieces in there, which I thought was so cute. I had to have them, so I got that. Then I got the enamel dots, and they're calling them candy dots. And there are 104 in that package. They're, those are all the same colors. And then I got this package also. So if I see some more of this, I'll get it. Because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. And then they had the brads. They're $2.99. And I'm hoping you can see that number there. And I just love all the butterflies and the colors. Uh, the colors is what really got me. Well, I had taken that and put it in with Valentine stuff. Well, I looked for paper. They had a 12 by 12 pack, but I really didn't want to get that bigger pack. You know, it's a lot of paper. And I recently bought some more 12 by 12, so I didn't want to get another 12 by 12. But today I was in the store and they had this six by eight pad, 36 pages. Um, let's see, same paper. So these are, and I really like this better cause I like the smaller designs and six by eight is a good size. And since I do traveler's notebooks, uh, this would be great for traveler's notebooks. I love the papers. And I'm thinking there are, what, only one sheet of each? And thir is it 36 different? No. Okay, so it's two sheets of each. Two sheets of each. And I thought there were some cut aparts included. But there aren't. No, there are no cut cut aparts, but the papers are just so cute. Two pay two sheets of uh, eighteen designs is what I'm thinking, since they're thirty six. So I thought that was a great collection, so I got that. And they do have a twelve by twelve sheet. I didn't see any more of the embellishments or anything, but I'm gonna keep checking. So I got that, and then I found this page here. I bought this to use. It was $2.99 and $2.99 for that 6x8. I really like this size paper. And then that's the number. I don't know if you can see that. But that's the number on that one. This one is called Auburn Lane. I am really going to be looking for some uh, embellishments to go with that. My store hasn't got any. It's Pink Paisley. So I'm definitely going to be looking for embellishments. But... They do have cut aparts here, but I just loved the designs of the paper uh, to be used in Traveler's Notebook. So that way I don't waste so much paper. But the papers are so cute. 
so cute. And so there's some more cutter parts, which is great. And there's some more. So there are three different cut apart sheets. Um, and this one only has 24 sheets. And it does, and it's actually a card making set. It says card making paper. But um, which is great, but I'm not gonna use it for that. So guys, that is that. And of course I had to have my one of my favorite coffees. I tried this one and I really like this and it doesn't take but a little my creamer to go a long way $5.99 can't beat it cuz coffee for the Keurig is expensive if you go to um, Publix or a grocery store or something they got like 12 K cups and they're like $9.99 a box so I have been buying my coffee at uh, Tuesday morning and I've tried several and I bought some at Aldi's that I didn't care for. It was just too sugary. Uh, it was like cappuccinos and I didn't really care for that. But I really like this one. So that's what I got there. So that is my Tuesday morning haul. I've been playing around with my um, GoPro. Still not good at it. So let's do the Hobby Lobby next and Michael's will be last. So Hobby Lobby. They had some stuff in clearance, and I didn't buy a lot, but I have a friend who is a paper addict. And so this, it was $1.99 for this in the clear, of clearance. And there are three different stacks of papers, and I'm gonna, this is gonna be one of her Christmas presents, so this will go in my Christmas bag. Yes, I've already started buying Christmas stuff because I find stuff like this that I know my friend is going to love. I found some things for my sister and some for my daughter. So, yeah, I just put them in a bag, put them back in the closet, and when Christmas comes, hey, I'm good to go because I already have things, so it'll be less thinking. But yeah, so my friend has a, a definite paper fetish uh, addiction. She loves paper. She's about as bad as me. But she will love these. She uses them on her desk at work. So and I'm going to leave that bow on there. And I'm just going to drop those in the bag. So I got that at Hobby Lobby. They were like $1.99. And then... Okay, guys. This is the rest of my Hobby Lobby. Don't need that bag. So, you know, I went in looking for some... Um, dies and I really was like eh, I don't really want any but I found this leaf die and Tim Holtz so I haven't opened any of these this this set has three dies and it's a leaf die and I can't wait to try it so that's the part of the leaf and then these are just I guess layering pieces so I'm looking forward to playing with that so it's only three um, and this one was my store really did not have a lot of stuff on clear a lot of clearance stuff anymore so this was 324 for this one um, so I'm gonna try to Keep them all together and then I bought a couple things that I'm doing uh, some friend gifts that I'm gonna do so I'm hoping they don't have them already but I'll show you that so then I saw this one and it makes I like the way that cover looks so it's you got that cutout thing going so it's like a layering piece so you can see it there. So I can't wait to use this. And that was $4.99 from $19.99. You cannot beat that. $5 from $20. You can't beat that. So I got that. And then there is this piece. It This is a coffee cup. It has four dies. Uh, it says cut and emboss. So it also has an embossing folder. So you cut that out. 
I can't wait to play with this. But it was two seventy four on clearance. So they had three, and I bought all three of them. I'm not sure if uh, I got a couple people that I want to give these to, and I'm not sure if they have them already. But we'll see. If so, then I will pass it on to someone else. But for the price, two seventy four from ten nine from eleven dollars. It was like one of those deals that I just could not pass up. And like I said, if my friends already have them, then I can just give it to somebody else. And then I got this one. This is a another this is a spellbinders cut and emboss in one pass. It was also $274, and it is a Christmas one, and it says Joy to the World. But I really like that embossing. I'm not going to pull it out just because. But for $2.74, they didn't have a lot of stuff in the clearance. But I just couldn't pass up these items. So for $23, which is what I paid for all of these, including tax, how are you going to beat that? This one was $20 by itself. So that's $22. This one was $12.99. So that's... I mean, how could you beat that? That's forty-two dollars. Nope, that's twenty. That's thirty-two, thirty-three dollars worth of dies for seven dollars. I mean, so I couldn't beat the pricing, and so got that from Hobby Lobby, and that was it. Besides that paper for my friend. Now. Michaels and I have to tell you that I have been riding some of this Michael stuff around in my car for two weeks. I was in there two weeks ago. I had a 50% coupon. No, the paper that I got. Let's do that first because I got this paper three weeks ago and they were Buy one, get two free, and then I had a 25% coupon that week. So it was le it ended up being less than when it was $5 a piece, you know, a sheet. So this one is called Beautiful Day. I love the papers. It's, all, it's a coffee paper. Brutiful Day is coffee paper. So I, you know, I have some coffee paper, but this was just too cute to pass up. And, yeah, I just really liked it. So, and it's got cut aparts and donuts and stuff. Some sheets I probably won't use because they are so, the design is in the center of the page. But I could cut this down and just use it as, like in a traveler's notebook, just cut it down. I love that paper. So it would look like stains on it. So that is the first one. This one also cut it down. Oh, I like that. Coffee with cream. Ha ha ha. Okay, so cute. And it has cut aparts. So yeah, more cut aparts. And that one could be cut down. So that is the first page. First one. The second one is in bloom. And I did buy this to use in um in my traveler's notebook see like that I would cut it down so it looks like two of each uh, it had some purples and that was a that was a winner and cut apart I you know I didn't open these up I don't know where my let's see so you can really see because there was something down in there you couldn't see um, so yeah guys, I, I did, like I said, these are just really random, and I know that's what I've been calling my hauls, random hauls, because that's basically what they are. Nothing real specific. I'm going to show you the end of this paper. Um, so, okay, some of it is foil, so let's start over. Some of it is foiled. I like the purple. And then these are some thigh. Because how cute is that? That will make a cute card. All of these would do a square card. So there are two of each. 
Um, Bicycles. So this is spring. Oh, that's cute, 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 cute. Cute, 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 cute. Okay. So two each. Eh, that's okay. Keys and not, oh, that's cute. So we could cut that in pieces too if you come down to it. So I like this. I don't have a lot of springy. Oh, I like that. That'd be good background for traveler's notebooks, love the flowers. Not so much this. But the it's a thicker paper. And I like that. So that's cute. It could be also cut. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I mean, I wouldn't use it big like that. Pink bicycles. So it's like they kind of duplicate. This is uh, cut apart. Cute, cute, cute. I, I don't really care for this. It looks like they've done that like three different times, three different colors. Uh, so that's kind of what's going on. Keys or repeats, more cut apart. These are cute journaling things. So. And then that's that. So that is that one that is called In Bloom. This one. Okay, guys. This is the one I just could not resist. I had to have it. You know, uh, I, and because I bought three large pads, I will be donating some of my pads that I haven't used in a while or ones that I kept and then still haven't used. So because I'm only I only have so much space that I kept for 12 by 12 papers. Let me open that. Uh, so I will be getting rid of three so that my space doesn't get too overcrowded. Cause I saw three, like I got a kitchen thing, uh, Nana's kitchen or something that I have had for so many years. I've held on to it and yet never used it. But you know, these colors just really grabbed me. And this is called Dark Botanicals. How pretty is that? Look at it. Oh my gosh. I love this paper. I had seen it before and they have some actually wood grains, butterflies that are really nice back. Oh gosh, so pretty, so, so, so pretty. More wood grain, which is cute. My colors, oh gosh, love the color parts. Love, love, love them. Pretty flowers. And you know, I'm not big on, oh gosh, look at that one. I'm not big on a lot of prints, but I am really liking these. So yeah, I just got to figure them out and what I'm going to do with them. Love the wood grain like that. Really like that, like this. I mean, I love this paper. I'm sorry. I just really do. Some of them are, oh goodness, pretty, pretty, pretty. Um. Yeah, I had to have that one. So this was actually one I bought and then I just used others as my free. But that is Dark Botanicals. I, I just really, really love that. So guys, that... Oh, no, 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 no. A little bit more now. Uh, Lamika has some new items back in the store. Because the shelving where her stuff is was full. I bought another set of her... Um, ephemera you know little ephemera die cut stickers and how cute are they I had the one set and I'm going to use some of these in my uh, planners but I can also especially like these they tell me that's a little Mika herself but I think it's so cute but that could be used on a um, memory dex card and then, I mean, I like that there's so many different people, different styles. Oh, this is one that I was really looking for here. I really wanted that for the little girl. I'm going to do those on some birthday cards for my great-grandbabies. And that'll be good in my planner. So, I really like that, um, 